Here's tip number three, all about getting your attachments out of your email into a usable space. So I'm just going to access my mail here. Swipe over to my spotlight tool, type in mail, and there we go. Jump into my mail, and you can see I have my mail along the left-hand side here, and you can see that tiny little icon right there, that paper clip that means I have an attachment that I can access. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and if I scroll down to the bottom, I'll see that I have a set of attachments. One of them is this PDF right here that shows up inside of my email actually as an image because it's a PDF and if it's a JPEG or PNG and small enough, it may just show up in the email also. And then I have an attachment right here that is actually an iCal invitation to a meeting. And then the final one down here I have is a Word document. All three of these are accessible in pretty much the same way, which is to simply push and hold. You probably are noticing that this is a theme on the iPad. If you push and hold things, you get usually a whole new set of options to, of things to do with that item, that object, those words, that picture. And in this case, I can open it in my sundry notes or do a, open it in quick look. And if I had pages on here, I could open it in that. And this is where I want to stop for just a second and explain. When I press on this and hold, I'm given a set of options you may be given a different set of options. And the reason for that is your iPad is smart. It knows what apps you have on your iPad and gives you those options for you specifically. So if you use something like Evernote or if you use something like uh, Google Reader, it may identify that as a possibility of something to open that document in. And like I said, if I had pages on here, it would open in pages. But the point here is that you have a whole set of options for yourself in your own way and you can do certain things with them. I'm going to jump over here to the PDF and try to do the same thing and you'll notice I have quick look again but now this time like I said the iPad is smart now it's offering to open it in iBooks and I can also pick from one second here the open in and it's going to give me a new set of options here you can see I have a whole bunch of things that are capable of reading a PDF document all the way from Evernote down through iBooks. I'm not going to choose any of those just so that I can show you the very last thing here which is my calendar. This shows up a tiny bit differently. When you have a calendar invite if you press and hold it's going to give you those event details and when you're all done you can either add it to your calendar or you can simply hit done and it won't do anything actually provided it's doing what it's supposed to do. I'll just click on the side. There we go that's much better. That's the end of tip number three. Virtually anything you get as an attachment in your email, you can open somewhere, someplace on your iPad.